What's up guys, welcome back to another video, it's me, Sumo2016, and today I'll be showing you my two custom Squid Sisters Amiibo, and here we got Kelly, and here we got Remi Murray, anyway, let's get into the review. So guys, as I said, these two are Amiibos, they are Kelly and Murray, um, only reason I've made these two is because they are really expensive, the real deal. They're really expensive, and yeah, they go for up like a hundred bucks, both of them together. I've seen re-releases, that's what they say. I don't, but I don't think they're going to re-release these two. Anyway, um, these two are in their original dresses. They're not the Splatoon 3 dr dresses. I am maybe considering making them, but that's not a promise. But anyway, as I was explaining, if you guys don't know what Amiibos are, you've probably seen them before. They're like these little figures that have an, an NFC base, or an NFC in the base, which let them scan on the game, and they show up. And they give you accessories and all that crap. Just depends, you know, what... Me were using watch game, but yeah, they're they're really special. Um, I really like them both. Um, uh, I had a blast making these two. If you guys don't know what NFC chips are, they're these things that you know you can use. You've seen them usually, even in in uh, hotels, the card, uh, key that they gave you, the key card. That's what they call. They're yeah, they're these things. But yeah, there's a lot of um, uses for NFC chips. Um, they come in cards and chips. But anyway, you guys don't want to listen to me talking about these things. You guys want to see it working. And yeah. So, let me just go to Splatoon real quick. On my Switch. Here is Splatoon. And that's the thing. Usually, uh, you scan them, and it worked. It just says my, my this amiibo has ready has data from another game into it. Overwrite amiibo data. All data will be lost. This it works. The only problem is that I have a Smash Bros. trained amiibo. Um, I I called her Woomy, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I'm not gonna do anything but she usually just pops up in that box so let's get let's you guys probably want me to show you how these actually work you just grab grab from right in here since she's a little top heavy but we'll talk about that later and sorry you click a and you scan it and boom, Murray pops up. Um, yeah, I have safe gear there. Another one, Callie. Um, Murray's Murray's gonna fall off. Hold on, let me just lay her down there so she doesn't break. And here is Callie. Right here. Oh shit! Not bad. All right, there you go. Boom. Callie shows up. Um, it's really works exactly the same. Shows up right there. Sorry for the background. Um, and yeah, it shows up. So it's a working amiibo. Now, how did I make these? Uh, of course you need an NFC chip. NFC card. I only recommend that if you are making amiibo cards. Which are basically like Animal Crossing cards, the the ones they actually sell. But you know, you can make custom art. I recommend you not selling them because that is kind of illegal. But yeah, I'm not gonna get into that stuff. Anyway, these two. This Cali Marie. Um these took me about five days to make each of them. Five days because of the pain and all this and that. Um 
But yeah. So, their eyes are gold. If you guys wonder. And uh, they do have glitter on their dresses, which I will be showing you guys later on. Um, Sorry for the, the inkling in that middle. That will be another review. That's Agent 3. But that will be in the, I think, believe next video after this. Probably going to re-upload all of these at the same time. So yeah. Anyway. um, It took me five days, as I said. Each one took so about ten days for all of it to complete. Um, they are made out of clay. Uh, I believe I'm the first one to ever make custom Amiibo Callie and Marie out of clay. Not 3D printed. I've seen a person that made it 3D printed, but... I don't have a 3D printer, I only have clay. Um, if you're wondering what clay this is, this is a bake oven clay, not air dry clay. Um, I'm still trying to get my hands on that. But, to make these two, um, I made a skeleton of the figure. And then I put clay on it, get all the feminish, I guess, body of the figure I guess um and yeah the easiest part of this figure was actually just painting it because once you have all the you know stuff you kind of kind of got all of it um now for some of the people that are picky which I'm not going against you I am picky too um I messed up with Callie on her upper right eye you guys see like a black dark black dot there that is a mistake i accidentally put it there uh because i was painting it their hair um her hair i can easily wipe that off with nail polish remover uh so now you can't unsee it <laughs> but anyway um as i showed you these two guys these two girls, my bad, these two amiibos do work, as I showed you. Um, so yeah, let's get into closer look for these two. This is Marie. She got glitter, her hair, boots. Um, yeah, that, I didn't really cover that. I'll be explaining that later, or probably not. The hands, yeah, they, I try to make them as well as I could. I know how to make hands, but these ones were like fast because I didn't have time, so I kind of just did what I did. Um, but yeah, and the earrings are pearl color. And I had I don't have her in her open wide mouth pose. I do have her in the pose, but not the face. It doesn't it doesn't have an open mouth because I tried it, and you know I just wanted to make a a Marie that was happy and not just yeah whatever pose and that. But yeah, um, I'm about I'm gonna put this amiibo on the ground because. I don't want it to fall or break or anything like that. Uh, here is Callie. One of, I think, the best one. Because, you know, she can stand. She doesn't fall. Uh, this was with... Murray was my first one. This one's my second one that I made. Um, but, yeah. The same pearl uh, earring. Her little hat. Her eyes are gold. You may see there. And yeah, I want to seem really proud of it. I don't think you guys can see that. There we go. But this, the hair is like glittery. I tried my best at doing that. Let's see. And yeah. um, As I said, these figures just did take me five days to make. Some people may think it's kind of whack, but schedules and that stuff, it's kind of a pain. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. 
I hope you got a lot of it. Um, I really enjoy making these two. If you want to make one of these and even show me the end result of yours, I'd be glad to see it. And yeah, guys, have a nice day, a nice week, holiday, whenever, whatever time you're watching this. And yeah, bye-bye.